Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Summon. And where are we? We are at Top Sail Hill State Park in Florida. And this is one of those coveted reservations. And we do our cancellation campground, a site opened up, we're like, woo! Absolutely. And when we were checking in, the attendant actually said this was like hitting the lottery. Right. To get here. Uh, yeah. A little um, bit of construction bag behind yeah. this. Yeah, so. Some, you win some, you lose some. Sometimes you get beautiful ones. Right. But if you hear the reason why of the construction, people are going to be very pleased that this is getting done. So yeah. it's not really bothering us, but uh, it might bother some people. Yeah, you know, they say that there was a bathhouse behind us that was condemned, and they're finally getting around to rebuilding it. So that's a good thing for all the folks. There's a big Airstream rally that's held here. Right. And I think people are pretty happy that this is getting rebuilt. So mm -hmm. we'll suck it up. What the heck? Right. And we'll enjoy this campground and show you what is here and what makes it the most coveted campground to stay at. In Florida. Yeah, not the most, but definitely one of them. Right. And we'll take a look around Destin. Yep. And hit this episode. from the parking lot every hour on the hour. Right, and it, is, it goes to each of the little stops near the campground. So we took it from the stop number one, which was the visitor center. Should be a fun little ride. This is also a walking path and a bike path as well. You can't take any electric vehicles on this path. And then we see C testing the water, so let's see, we see what she thinks of it. Let's see the beautiful colors of the water. Again, this is so spectacular. And it's so fine it makes noise. It squeaks. It squeaks when you walk. That's funny. So you can see the beach flags. It's either you're an LSU fan or the yellow means medium sea conditions and the purple means that you've got stinging creatures in the water and I seem to have survived both. Yeah, a jellyfish sting is never fun. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been stung by one, but that's miserable. I survived today. Yes. See, what are we fighting now? We, we are fighting these little sugar ants that are just everywhere and we have gotten swarms of them coming in through open windows and we have taken precautions that we'll show inside to make sure that they don't go and get attracted, but still they're everywhere. They went after my potatoes and my onions and potato yeah, you chips. You can see here. Potato chips is ridiculous. So I highly advise perhaps not opening windows here during the season. Where I'm not sure if we got them here or at Mayor. I don't think we got them at Mayor because they have been here and just everywhere. So it's driving me nuts. All right, well, we'll figure it out. Yep. So Rich sprays for ants is part of his checklist every single time we come into a new location. He noticed when we got here that we had a bit of a little ant problem right on the back. Yep, there was some crawling up the side actually. And so it's very possible that we picked this up at Mayor State Park. We don't, we don't know where yeah, we don't know. Or Cindy brought up a good point, all that construction in the back may have stirred a bunch of them up. Yes, that's very possible as well. But uh, we had a couple days where they were just being a real pain. And what I ended up doing was anything pretty much edible, like potatoes, onions, stuff like that, that could attract them inside, I put in a plastic bag, including very, very important sugar. Anything that is has sugar in it, like this spice mix 
that's not a sealed package. It has to be completely vacuum sealed package. And again, my sugar in here is covered with a bag as well. So anything that is not sealed, like cereal. Um, yeah, the real bad ones were they were in the cereal and they were in our chips. It, and they were in the chips. The chips had sugar in it. So um, those were the two bad ones. But after we got rid of the items that attracted them in, what you do is you clean them up. They recommend a vinegar solution because that sort of deters them. And if you wipe down your counters and stuff with the vinegar, it will kind of keep them out a little bit better, even though we did chase down a million of them. And uh, the other solution would be, and we didn't do this one, was to get some taro, which is a, a sugar ant um, attractor. And what it does is they eat the stuff and they take it back to their nest and they kill a bunch of other ones so hmm, okay so that would be the last one but I hesitated with that one because I just didn't want to attract them inside the Airstream if I didn't have to so what's our status right now our status right now I just basically saw one today and we also shut all the windows out as well yep. so that maybe they couldn't crawl in so I, I think maybe because it's quiet they haven't come out yet and the construction maybe stirred them up even though we continued to clean and do all the right stuff we still had some ant problems for a couple of days. So we decided to fall back on the tarot and that stuff worked like an extinction level event. We were literally got rid of it in a half a day. Right, so we recommend that every RVer, whether you travel in the north, south, east or west, carry some tarot on board with you for such a circumstance. And yes, it does attract the ants in a little bit, but they are in a contained area and they are... Obliterated. Absolutely. Second time that's happened. Yeah, we need to make an adjustment. Yeah. So again, we've talked about how we actually like our wet bath because we use it a bath a shower so very little, you know, once a day at the most, if not once every other day for, for about five 10 minutes. minutes. Five yeah, to total. 10 minutes. Yeah. This is space well utilized, but this time it worked. This is the first time ever we've overflowed yeah. something, and twice we flowed up into the uh, filled up the gray tank to 100%. So it was I, good we had full hookups. Yep. So what we've done is we put our seal lubricant on and now I'm going to go ahead and take the valve that operates the foot pedal, give it some WD-40, lubricate it, and hopefully that'll work. Cuz the the problem was that it was sticking in the upward position, so it would constantly continue to fill. Right. So we're going to get that a shot and see how it works. Yep. So we are heading off to the campground store. Yes, we is Are? that because we need s'mores or? Nope, that's not because we need s'mores or anything like that. They this have, campground store has a on tap bar selection. This is the greatest innovation in campgrounds since the fire ring. And you can bring it back to your campground as well. You can't finish it here. All right, let's check it out. So you can see the campground store here. Normal. But they have a coffee bar. But then there's beer and coffee, and a coffee bar. This is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> I think we're going to get some Oyster City. So why do we have three? Well, I think she made a mistake. She thought when I said not the guava, she thought I said guava. So uh, she was on her way to pouring that one when I... Uh, explained to her that well, I had that yesterday and it was not my favorite it was okay so we got the dirty blonde pilsner instead from Oyster Bay from Oyster Bay all right so we didn't quite finish our beer but uh, we're taking it back to the campground and this this is totally legal the lady at the store said they've talked to the Rangers and you definitely can walk back with your beer no issue and last actually yesterday when we were walking back a ranger was coming right at us and i'm like man i hope she's right. well she just waved and went on he just waved and went on so cheers cheers how fun is that this is a nice touch when your campground doesn't allow fire pits or fire rings actually you can have above ground fires but you can't have an in-ground fire and they don't have the grills either so there's no place to put your charcoal very safe very smart to provide a metal canister put those charcoal or some hot ashes in so I would say this site here is a little bit more typical of what kind of what we expected and much more typical of what you would find here at Topsail Hill Preserve see it's still a fairly narrow pad but it's well done it's good condition service is similar to ours so there you have it versus what we have let's go ahead and take a look at our campsite here at Topsail Hill Beach Preserve 
And this is one of those unusual sights in which it's it's kind of tight, but it's super easy to back into. Normally tight and easy don't go together, but this one here because of its angle is just really uh, not too bad. You can see it's, it's only about, yeah, it's only 10 feet, 10 feet wide. So, you know, that's only giving you a foot on either side as you bring your rig in, but it's pretty, still pretty easy, pretty good to go. All right, let's come on around. So the pad is a really nice concrete pad. It's super level. We didn't require any leveling blocks at all. Services, we have full hookups here. We'll put all the details right here as far as what it costs. But we have full water, 30, 50, and 15 amp service. We're not boosting. Of course, the Love Sub has never had a TV, so we don't need the cable plug, but I suppose if you need cable. Whoa. Whoops. Whoops. Don't trip over your auto former. Sewer site. And we still get a little bit of beauty off to the other side there. That direction. Yeah, a little bit of a picnic table, but overall, you know. If you yeah, ignore if, that. If you ignore that, you know, <laughs> it's, it's uh, If you ignore too, that. Not too shabby, so. Uh, yeah, there we go. Top Sail Hill Beach Preserve. So we just lost power, and I think it was because Rich tripped over his autoformer. We're gonna see. Yep, probably. Here it goes. Was it because you tripped over the autoformer? It's because I tripped over the autoformer. <laughs> We're back in business. Well, there you have it, our adventure at Top Sail hill preserve yeah we had some issues yeah we did yeah but i mean the beach was absolutely worth it but with regards to the issues no better way to solve those issues than with comfort food right it's, what are we doing tonight we're doing chicken and dumplings absolutely homemade between, style between flooding our bathroom <laughs> having a construction site having an ant infestation <laughs> We need some comfort food. Right. So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we've earned a subscription, click the subscribe. And comment below if you've been to Top Sail Hill State Park and what you like the best about it. Whether it was a can opener or whatever. Mm -hmm. Because we come out with Airstream and RV related videos just like this one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Ooh, let's dig into this.